What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Einstein Media Center, your one-stop shop for all media dissection. But you saw the title of the video today. Today is something different. I'm just trying to go off. I'm just trying to rant a little bit. This has been on my mind for about a year now, and I think everybody should uh, maybe listen a little bit. So um, this video is about uh, why you should quit your Big Four accounting job. And uh, let me get one thing off my chest very quickly. I never worked for the Big Four. I worked for two other public accounting firms, one small boutique firm and then one uh, larger regional firm. But I think we all know that the same arguments are still going to apply. So um, let's, let's, uh, let's begin. So I quit public accounting uh, just under a year ago. So I was in public accounting for... I don't know, around two and a half years. I was at my first firm for 19 months and then the second larger firm for about 10 months. And I'll just run down why I hated it. So busy season was awful. At my first firm, I was supposed to be doing audit work, but they were primarily a tax firm. So I ended up doing a lot of tax returns and I was focused on this one real estate client. So I did a lot of 1065s and a lot of 1120s. And if you don't know what those are, 1065s are partnership tax returns, 1120s are corporate tax returns. So I did a ton of those during busy season. And like you you when you're in college, like you know what busy season is. You know you're going to be working at least 60 hours a week. And they just kind of are like, "Yeah, that's normal. It's fine. It's fine. Do not drink the Kool-Aid. Do not believe that's a normal mindset when i was doing it i live in a pretty expensive city one of like i live in one of the cities in the united states i was getting paid fifty five thousand dollars a year which is certainly nothing to sniff at i don't want to act like that's not a lot of money it is but it really wasn't worth it for me to work i don't know 70 hours a week that was a uh, horseshit to be fair now i did get a raise and i did get more money when i went to the second firm but still I was working even more hours I worked you know multiple days that were like 18 hours and I know if you're watching this I know if you've been in big four you've probably done a lot more and that's my point you're not getting paid enough to be putting up with that the culture in accounting is so messed up do not give in to the hustle grind set you are just being exploited you are just being taken advantage of do not accept the workplace where it's normal to be yelled at. Do not accept the workplace where you're expected to stay for 18 hours a day. Do not accept the workplace where it's just normal for you to work every single weekend of your life. These Life is not about working. You should be working a job to pay your bills so you can do the things you enjoy. Now, I get it. A lot of people take pride in their job, and I don't want to take that away from anybody, but let's be real. If, if we lived in a perfect world, would you be working 80 hours a week? Probably not. You probably wouldn't be. You probably wouldn't having to be sacrificing holidays to meet a deadline like we all do now. But, okay. Rant over with that. But what I wanted to focus on is why you should leave. So, if you're in a staff position, an associate position, even up to a senior position, you're being underpaid. You're being underpaid by so much. And the reason you know that is because as soon as you mention you leave, if you tell them it's money, they'll offer you more money. And I, trust me, I understand that businesses aren't going to offer you more money just for existing. I guess I, I get that's how they make their money is by underpaying workers like, you know, literally every other business in society. But the problem is public accounting is a different beast it is an absolutely different beast nobody should be working 80 hours a week to make sixty thousand dollars a year you are worth more than that especially if you're good at your job so so what i want to talk about is all of these things obviously but that is probably my biggest gripe is the amount they underpay you if you want to work a lot of hours you should go get i don't know a job that pays you hourly so you can at least recoup the hours you're spending because when it's not busy season and you're just sitting with your thumb up your butt you're not doing anything and you're getting paid the same amount it's absolutely ridiculous that they can justify the salary job if you're going to be working up to 100 hours a week 
in during certain times of the year at my first job i had a manager who stayed overnight why is it acceptable for people to stay overnight to get out fucking tax returns it's stupid and that's where this comes in also public accounting is a different beast because public accounting practically prints money you know who still needed to get taxes out during the pandemic literally everybody and do you know who they had to pay to do it public accounting firms public accounting firms barely took a hit during the pandemic not like literally every other business so don't take their bs when they're talking about oh well it's a pandemic oh well it's an economic downturn blah, 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 blah. you know who still has to pay their taxes literally everybody even a business that's you know, practically going out of business. As long as they're still in business, they got to pay their taxes. They got to pay somebody to do their taxes. So a public accounting firms pretty much never take a hit during economic downturns. And I think the pandemic was a perfect example of that. Now, like I said, if you're in a staff position, if you're an associate, if you're a senior, you could be making so much money elsewhere. What I would recommend, if you really want to go into public accounting, if you're going right out of college, I get it. It's really hard to get an accounting job not in public accounting because every other private industry wants you to have experience, and public accounting is good quote-unquote experience. I'm not going to act like I didn't learn a lot. I did, but I was also miserable. My mental health was in the freaking toilet. My physical health was also in the toilet. It was a miserable time in my life, and I would never want anybody else to endure that because they think they don't have another choice. But if you have to go into public accounting, do it for two years. Do it for three years. Work hard, sure. I'm not going to tell you not to work hard. But what's more important is that you learn. You learn so you can go elsewhere, so you could take that knowledge elsewhere. And if you want to work on your CPA, work on your CPA. That's probably more important than... <laughs> doing anything for the stupid public accounting firm and i'm not joking your cpa is going to help you a lot more if you just have a cpa and then two and a half three years on your resume everybody will eat you up as long as you're competent during an interview and i can't really help you with that one i mean maybe i'll try one day but not today but that's what i would focus on i'd focus on getting you certified if that's what you want and i focus on learning as much as you can and just dogging through it for two to three years i didn't stay for three years i stayed for under three years but i stayed for more than two years and honestly i went to a uh i actually switched careers kind of i went into internal auditing i saw i was primarily doing tax now i'm doing internal auditing and i'm not gonna lie you know the money isn't um great but the the industry i'm in isn't doing great so that's on me i can't really uh put that one on my career you know but that one's that one's on me for uh choosing an industry that's kind of dying but the the work-life balance is so much better i i work 40 hours a week i never work weekends i am compensated fairly for the work that i produce and they think I'm, you know, actually good at my job because I was worked like a dog when I was in public accounting. But all of my friends who quit public accounting, they're so much happier. My partner quit PwC, and they are making so much more money than they used to. They switched careers, kind of. And, oh my goodness, they're really bringing in the big bucks. Love them. And then all my other friends, too. Nobody's working weekends anymore. Nobody's just losing their minds listen i know this was a bit of a rant i know this was just kind of like off the cuff but it's just something i've been really thinking about for a very long time since i quit every time i think about the way that i was treated the way i was paid in public accounting it's really just not worth it i really wish that everybody sees that way too i don't think it should be normal to be salary and working 80 hours a week unless you're making well over six figures i really think that's ridiculous i'm i don't think that people should be able to yell at you when you don't understand something i think that's ridiculous i don't think you should have to work until one in the morning the night tax returns are due i ju it's just not that it's unfair but it's it, i mean it obviously is unfair but you're so much, uh, you're worth so much more than that. You're worth so much more being screamed at. You're worth so much more not having to be able to spend time with 
the people you care about. And I think that's something that is a problem with a lot of um, professional industries. And I think that's a problem with the education system. The education system really hypes up public accounting firms because everybody gets a job at public accounting because everybody's also constantly leaving. So your college is sending you all to public accounting firms. So their placement rate is, you know, 99%. That's what my graduate school did. (sighs) Sorry. I'm, like, all over the place here, but I really don't care. Nobody watches this channel. But, anyway, like I said, I'm just hoping this finds somebody, and if they're struggling, if they really don't know what to do, just start applying to jobs. I remember the tax deadline in the uh, fall was on whatever it was, 10-16, 10-17 last year, and it was on 10-15. It was, uh, it was actually on 10-15. I remember 10-16, I applied to every job I could find. I went on Google every day and just looked up accounting jobs, and if they were in my city, if they were remote, I applied to them. I probably applied to like 35 jobs, I think somewhere around there, and I only got three or four interviews, and a month later, I was already hired at my new job. I started my new job on eleven fifteen. So if you really want to leave and you feel like you don't know what to do, you should just start applying. Just start sending out that resume as much as you can and have your, you know, have somebody in your life review your resume. Have your friends review it. Have somebody... Um, with a professional background review, whether it's a family member or a, you know, friend's parent, whatever it may be, like, lean on people. That's what we need is a tighter community. We need to lean on each other. We need to help each other. So if you're really struggling, you should, you should really put that resume out there. You should leave public accounting. You should quit your big four job. You're worth more than what they're paying you. And you'll see if you're good at your job and you quit. And if you tell them it's about the money and they offer you 20 K more, if they offer you 10 K more, you know, all along you were worth it. That's how much they wanted you back. I know when I quit, I didn't tell them it was about the money. And six months later, they still asked me to come back. You're worth more. And I think that's what everybody really needs to remember. Hopefully my next video will be about like video games or something.